Alright guys, we just got up to Deer Camp. It's about a four mile hike. I just wanted to show you real quick. You guys always ask what we pack up here. Um, what's nice about this spot is we actually are able to leave our sleeping bags and our tents up here. So I don't have to pack that so I can get away with actually using a little bit smaller backpack. So this year I, what I used is the Horn Hunter main beam. It's uh, 2,800 cubic inches and it, it fit everything perfectly, but like I said, if I had to have a tent or a sleeping bag, I would have to go to either the big brother of the main beam, which is the main beam XL, which is like 4,000 cubic inches, or do the actual full curl system. But this worked out perfect. So had the Hoyt Defiant, Pro Defiant strapped on the back. I'm gonna go through here and show you everything we'll need. We'll be up here for five days. These are like mountain money, man. It's a good way to take your business after you drop some business. Good way to give you a little bath at night. Wet wipes, so much better than uh, just regular toilet paper. I have a couple game bags wrapped up here. We will be using those this year. A couple more, so four total. So clothing, I got all my clothing fit into here. I went very minimal on clothing. I always pack way too much camo and I end up wearing about an eighth of it. So. I wore my first light corrugate pants up here, and that's what I'll be hunting in every night, every day. And then I brought uh, the first light rain jacket, and that's only in case it rains, but it also pulls double, like in the morning when it's a little chilly, I like to rock that. First light Chama hoodie, which is my go-to piece from first light. I wear that on almost every hunt. I've got two pairs of socks, and pair of fingerless first light gloves. So if I'm eating a popsicle, it keeps my hand warm, but my fingers are still accessible to do whatever I need to do, you know. Got a uh, blow up pillow, which also clutch up here. I've just got some odds and ends in here. I like to take dry sacks because you can just leave these at camp and don't have to worry about anything getting wet. Just got some ibuprofen, got some forks, spoon, spatula, Got one lighter, and then I got um, some water purification tablets, which we have to use up here. Oh, got my release. That's always a plus when you uh, don't forget that back of the truck. So I've got one 32 ounce thick of Nalgene of water bottle. Also, I've got, I like this pack. I've got a three liter um, platypus or reservoir for water in here. This is where I feel like I always overpack. I never eat all my food, but it's one thing I don't want to run out of, food and water. So I got some uh, smoked meat snacks I made on the Camp Chef before I left out of my elk from last year. Those will be clutch. Plenty of Mountain Ops. Got um, Ignite Pink Lemonade and uh, Green Apple. Lots of nuts this year, guys. We're trying to eat a little bit cleaner than usual, so bag of some nuts, some trail mix. I made that trail mix myself actually. I had to splurge and get a little bit of candy. That's a staple for up here. Hunter's Reserve Sweet Jalapeno Summer Sausage. That will also be clutch. Check this out. Pepperoni. Hard salami. I only brought two. These are my favorite, but they kind of weigh a lot. So tuna salad in a package. Salmon tuna creations. Got at least one for every day. That's a good lunch. And then I only actually packed up two um, dinners. I've never tried these Mary Jane's Farm. Uh, made out of actually Caldwell, Idaho, I believe. But that's a Chili Mac. And that's a Bear Burrito. I'm not a big fan of dehydrated food at all. The secret is if you pack tortillas like I did. These are pretty small. You can see Andy like giving me the eye because I was in charge of tortillas. But if you like bear burrito or chili mac you can wrap that in a burrito or in a tortilla and anything tastes amazing in a warmed up tortilla that's all the food i have another nalgene 32 ounces so we're going to be up here for four and a half days so i figured one of these every day and then the three liter i can drink while i'm out hiking and uh then can use this for cooking and drinking back at camp headlamp extra batteries key Extra SD cards, charger, two little pocket juicers. This is a uh, Mophie, actually Onyx map sent us. 
This will charge your phone for 12 hours. This is just a cheap pocket juice. I just saw it while I was checking out. And uh, this should give your phone two charges or GoPros. We can charge GoPros with them. More SD cards, extra batteries for the GoPro, extra battery for the vlog camera, a little bench made sharp knife sharpener. So we are trying out a new knife this year. A couple different new knives. The one I decided to pack up to today or for this hunt. Super slick, legit little bench made. Can't remember the name on this, the mini hunter family or something. But sweet little knife. Never used bench made before, but we're gonna try them out, see how they do. That's what the sharpener's for, but I'm liking this knife so far. Got a uh, Horn Hunter backpack cover in case it rains. You can cover your whole backpack and won't get wet. Mini tripod for the GoPro. Got my Vortex rangefinder. Also packed up my uh, Vortex Razor HDs. That's a must. GoPro stuff. Two GoPros. I don't want to take them out, but two GoPros and a head mount. Trying to try to get a shot, get dust shot if we if I shoot at an animal with the GoPro. So. That is a rundown of everything I brought to deer camp for four and a half days. You guys are always asking, so we show, figured we'd show you what we bring up. Now, everyone's different. When Eric gets up here, he's going to have fresh vegetables, raw vegetables. He's going to have a giant kitchen knife. He's going to have probably a cutting board. He's going to have a kitchen pan, not a lightweight backpacking pan. He brought, like, his biggest pan last year. He's going to have yams, and he's going to have a bunch of tuna, I bet. Anyways, but everyone's different, and uh, yeah, so that's what's in my bag for Deer Camp 2017. Hopefully I get to use all this stuff, including my white bow. That's what I brought up to Deer Camp this year for the next four and a half, five days. Um, Brian's actually just behind us on the trail. When he gets up here, we will do a video on what's in his back, and we'll post it next week. So hit the link in the, in the description box and go see what is in Brian's bag. Okay.